Let's talk about mobile calendars for SharePoint Online. Now let's say you have a conference call coming up and you need to reschedule it, but you don't have access to your SharePoint site, so you have to do it on your phone. With Mobile Entree, we make this really easy for you. Now here's our SharePoint site for Company X. Let's go to the calendar. And here's the conference call we have to edit for Friday. Now let's bring up SharePoint on a mobile device for the same site. And this is SharePoint out of the box by itself. Here's the calendar. And this really isn't very much of a calendar experience. To get to that conference call, we have to go through, navigate day by day, until we get to Friday. And now that we have our conference call event, we go in and we can edit it out of the box with SharePoint, but they don't make it very easy for you. The controls are very small, and if you want to edit the date, you have to edit this string of numbers. So if we want to change it to Monday the 17th, we have to go in and edit the 14 to say 17, 2014. And we'll have to do that for both strings and make sure that we get them right. And really, this is not how you want to edit a date. If you want to edit the time, you have the hour and minutes separate, which really isn't convenient when you're talking about a calendar. So we'll change this to 1.30, and it'll go until, let's say, 3. And we don't even have the option to edit the description. So we'll save this event and try the same thing within Mobile Entree. So we'll go home and open up the Mobile Entree, which is activated on this site, by just clicking the Mobile Entree button. And this will take us to a much more user-friendly version of SharePoint in Mobile Entree. And we'll go open up that same calendar. Now we did save the event, so it has been moved to Monday the 17th. You can see all the days that have events are highlighted. So we'll go to the 17th, open up the event for a conference call, go to our action tray, and click edit. Now, if we want to change the date here, we click on the start date. We get exactly what you would expect from a phone with your phone controls. We can change this back now to the 14th, that Friday, and it does have the days of the week on the top there for you. We'll set it to Friday. End time will also change back to Friday. Let's also edit the time. We'll change this to 2 o'clock. And what we do here is we take advantage of your phone's controls. So the same way you would set an alarm or an event on your phone, you can set the time for an event in SharePoint. We also allow you to edit the description if you need to. You can change it to an all-day event, edit the attendees, even change the category type of the meeting. So we'll save this now. And as you can see, updating that event is a lot easier with Mobile Entree. And let's say you didn't know when the event actually was. This calendar, which is actually a calendar, is so much easier to interact with. You've got all of your days, all of your dates, and the events are highlighted. There's no navigating through list items, through days, through strings of number. We want to give you an experience that you're already used to for a calendar on a phone. I hope this helps you understand SharePoint calendars for mobile devices a little bit better. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.